And there were two other confirmed tornadoes. So let's get over to meteorologist Mario Ruiz to get us give us an update on what has been confirmed so far and uh, what folks are talking about the uh, strength of these uh, storms. Right. And uh, since that last update, we've actually added another confirmed tornado. And this one was actually from the same parent storm as uh, the Hopkins County tornado. But right on the rains, Hopkins County line is where that fourth tornado was confirmed by the National Weather Service. So just south and west of Sulphur Springs, uh, we had that tornado, right? That was an EF2 with 120 mile per hour wind speeds. This one between 515 and 519, but it was around the same time frame that we saw uh, several other warnings as well. Now in Lamar County, this one between 419 and 446 Friday afternoon, an EF3, the strongest there with 160 mile per hour winds. The maximum width was three quarters of a mile. So if you can imagine looking at a path and it's a mile long. It was just smaller than that. It's a pretty wide tornado. So Athens tornado, uh, this one in Henderson County on Friday, also an EF2 with 115 mile per hour wind speeds, maximum width of 150 yards. The path length for this one was 15 miles and it happened around 535 to 558, but certainly enough to cause uh, some harm. Now it's just important to remember that we can get weather like this at any point of the year, especially this time of the year, uh, even EF2, EF3 status tornadoes. So definitely want to make sure to keep an eye on the sky and attention right here to WFAA.